Hey. Hey. I'm going to open up this thing. Hello. Better be good. Hey, you got mm. Elden Ring sandwich. You idiot. You got bologna sandwich. How long do you think he was in there trying Mikella. to kill me? That guy, he was probably like, <laughs> Oh my god, this is so fucking good. Dude. After 1,000 years. It's a tight, what was that? It was some sort of mirror helmet. Me Metal Mario? Is that what you said? Yep. Hello. You know what's the best part of the <gasps> Metal Mario song? <gasps> okay. Oh. oh my Ooh, god. You know, I'll tell you in a minute. And that's it. Oh. The best part of the Metal Mario song is at the beginning, it's like, Mm. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like very much the the star song. Right? I remember song. that part. But at the beginning, it's like it's like metal. Huh? I don't remember that. Part. And then it goes. Yeah, I don't remember that part. For a while, I went down a rabbit hole of. Uh... YouTube videos where AI continues commonly known video game music. I see. So it's like if they if World War One kept going, it would sound like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I think that uh, a couple classic video game composers would have something to say about that. Oh, of course. I was like, I wasn't trying to be like, this is way better than, That's what you said. than, than what they You made. said we should bow down our AI overlords, right? Because artists are dead. There is Ted no said, argument. what's I mean, the I, point of yeah. people doing <laughs> Let's Plays? I, I already feel like we're submissing to shitty, shitty overlords now. Why not fucking add mm. some more in them? You made yes. a good point, dude. Oh. You know, this isn't the time for the brand deal. <laughs> but, but, fuck it. <laughs> I just want to say that it's a big part of why I'm still doing Super Beard Bros right now. Fight against the algorithms. It's we're, just that I, we're kind of overlordless. I just did. <clears throat> I just. I just didn't want to do this if we were gonna like have a bunch of like other concerns and like you know somebody buy us or something like that. I I, I wouldn't have done it unless mm. we did it this way because fuck that shit. I hear you. Yeah, I mean we really. <sighs> I'm gonna die, huh? I've seen a lot of, you know, people that I have worked with over the years oh. end up O and O'd or whatever. What does that mean? Like, a brand buying their stuff and just making it part of their thing and kind of just becoming employees kind of deal. Mm. Stuff like that. And I think there was a time when that was like a wise call, but that time has passed. I see. Yeah, it seems like a lot of brands that did that just got fucked over in the end. Yeah, there was a time when it was like great, and you probably ended up with a lot of money, and like that would have been great. But I'll tell you right now, nobody's gonna be buy the Beard Bros for a lot of money. Oh come on! I'm sure, like the Sizzler would love to get in on this. You know what? That's exactly like my dream <laughs> to get a brand deal with Sizzler. Like my dream is that like somebody who watches Super Beard Bros is like the the brand lead for like. Circuit City or some <laughs> just some like dilapidated old <laughs> brand that's like trying to get awareness yeah. and I will like something that I would have seen a commercial for like mm. give me the general give me like a uh, 10 year brand deal with the, the general. general's still doing stuff yeah we want to do like Survivor yeah even that like I'm just saying like a brand that still exists but is just like you know so so integral to our to our to our lives I feel like I could make a good case for why you should advertise on our channel. Well, now's your time, I suppose. I, uh, more often than not, think about what brands, like, would reach out to us and you guys would be like, all right, Ted, we're going to promote this. Is that okay? Like, what brands I'd be like, no. Uh-huh. Okay. You got any? <sighs> Boy, what are you doing? I think I, think I wouldn't want to promote, like one of those food delivery services. Oh, like um, uh, HelloFresh? Or like Factor, yeah. Why not? I don't like the packaging. The packaging? Yeah, yeah Ted is mean? very, like, surprisingly, like, green in his, uh, like, his motivation for, like, what he does and does not do is very, like, eco-oriented. Even though HelloFresh, we use HelloFresh, yeah. all their shit, all their packaging is super recyclable. You don't like that? I, I don't like single-use plastics. 
You think they use single-use plastics? Yeah. Do they? Maybe you're right. I don't fucking know. They did when I when I was with them a couple years ago, but I don't know now. But uh, what plastics are we talking about? Like the like containers that you peel, yeah, and stuff like that. Or like baggies of ingredients like meat, or whatever. For example, like like beef comes in one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I got you. Uh, but like, <laughs> even but, then, like if they were like fifty thousand dollars a year. Yeah, like. And it's like, oh, we need it, or like we could do something really cool with this. Like maybe, what the fuck would we know, use fifty thousand dollars on? That's super beard bros, motorcycles. I honestly like. But if we were like hard up, I don't know. Like it's hard in the context of doing other things. There's not really anything that I want to do. Like 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 this is kind of what I was saying uh, just a second ago. Is like we're trying to get popular. Right, like, right. like, but, but, like, things that we would like to do is like, if a brand wanted to pay us to do something that we would already find very fun, I would be down. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like, a dream for me would be like DoorDash sponsoring us and being like, try and review different restaurants. Oh man, show all the time. Absolutely, and we'll give you free food for all, forever. Incredible. I would love to do a show that's like, pick a restaurant and like. Like choose three items from that restaurant. You try them in the restaurant, and then you try them door dashed, and like see like which ones are worth doing. Yeah, that's a great idea. Like how they live. Yeah, oh, that's oh. actually such a huge part of like what I choose on DoorDash. I should bring them out of here, huh? What about like here's this here's this mobile game. Say that you love it and you play it. Blah blah blah. No, you wouldn't do that. Uh, like the pr if the price is right, yeah, but like. I'm not trying to like give away my content like that. Yeah. I'm more like much more interested in like bespoke deals for like really meaningful it, like like synergies. Yeah. Yeah. I think like just in terms of what I'm looking for right now, like that's the main thing. Like if you're listening to this and you're like I have like a nostalgia like videotape based business or some shit like that or I I run a comic store and I want to do a brand deal. That's the type of thing that I feel like I would be into. It's just wild how many ads I hear that are like, I love this. I'm using it all the time. And I'm like, God. Ugh. Some stuff like. You don't believe them at all? I don't. Here's the mm. thing, though. Some stuff, true. Like, some stuff is yeah, true. You never yeah. know, right? Like, I have a ghost pillow that I got from Chiluminati as like a sample so that I could talk about it on the air and whatever. Yeah. I love it. I sleep with it every night. Yeah, yeah, I would love to try. Like, I would love to try some products. I'll tell you how I fucking feel about yeah. it. Yeah, just like if you're saying like I've been trying it oh. for a few days oh. or whatever, like great. But if you're like I, I'm using it all the time, I'm like, Ooh. are you huge? But like real talk, it, it, sometimes yes. Like HelloFresh right, 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 when right, I did right. it for Chiluminati, <laughs> I used to eat HelloFresh like every day of my goddamn life. It was crazy. Yeah, like if it if it was there and no one was eating it, I'm like. I don't know I'm if down. I would. I don't know if I would have done it if it I'm wasn't down. free. Yeah, <laughs> we'd be using HelloFresh. We've used it for a long time. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like, but Lisa doesn't even usually doesn't cook the meals. Right. She just gets them for ingredients, and she looks at what she has, and she goes, "She's mastered it." Uh, oh, I can make this out of this for, and this and this. You know what and I mean? And that's honestly what's good about those cooking sites is like, yeah, you you get confidence. Right. 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 Fuck me. It's like a it, it it's, it's it like cooking you, training wheels kind of. It makes your world smaller so that you can get like the type of expertise that like your mother or grandmother had, but like pretty fit pretty fast by limiting what you what materials you're using. Oh boy, yeah. Yo, he takes hit stun off of my light attack, yeah. which is kind of nice. I didn't know that. No, no. Fuck off. Can't command grab what's in the air, huh? And I want to be clear, I'm not trying to dog on anybody. I'm just personally. Nah, Ted hates y'all. Trying to limit my plastic usage. Yeah. Personally, but even, but even I'm not then. foisting it on anyone. Yeah, we appreciate. It's not that like he tip. doesn't eat my he snacks doesn't. at my house that are in plastic yeah. containers. It's not that Ted doesn't eat plastic because he does. I definitely do. It's Everyone his, does. It's his main food source. <laughs> you are lying to yourself yeah, if you remember. think plastic is not getting into your body. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> it really does, man. I don't want to like get cancer. It's like, why did I have cancer? Oh, um, <clears throat> plastic. In 1975, oh. DuPont started making packaging out of a horrible chemical. <laughs> like Skittles. None of it's actually food. We're in there, baby. Ah, oh, but I love Skittles. 
I do, dude. If somebody put, if somebody drops some tropical skittles in front of me right now, I might become a different guy. Ooh, what does that mean? Like a, I would eat them ravenously. Oh yeah. yeah. And Brett's like, only purple skittles remove all the others in my dressing. room. <laughs> I'm not like a weirdo like that. No, it's, I don't. it's like, but there's something. I remember t- talking to like my old improv students about this a while back, like testing it with them. I was like, <clears throat> white people tend to prefer. I swear we talked about this before. White people, if I ask you, like, what bag of Skittles, if you had your choice, uh-huh. what would you go for? They'd be like, um, like, regular? Like, Skittles, like the red bag. Like, for- like original, like me. Don't. Um, <laughs> I never went that far, and I'm not going that far. Yeah. But every, like, and it wasn't, like, a 100% thing, but most of, like, my brown kids, they were like, oh, um, Tropical, or uh, what was the other one? There's tropical skin, a berry, a wild, you know, purple one, yeah. wild, wild, wild berry, berry wild berry. But if, if I want that purple bag or that teal bag, that's the bag. That's the I bag. I want those fucking bags teal, so bad. The teal one is the oh one. Oh my god, that's the one, dude. The Same thing with Starburst. Give me the, the, the yes. One, the one I went hardest on and spent like tons of money on was Fizzle Skittles. What the fuck are Fizzle what the fuck Skittles? Is a Fizzle Skittle. I used to buy those giant bags like as much as I. What could. is it, Ted? Is it like a pop rock? It's, uh. It was like encased in kind of like a whitish thing, powder. Oh, that would just kind of like sizzle in your oh. mouth. It wasn't like sour, but it, it was like more like pop rocky, right? Like sour. I remember sour skittles had a powder. Oh, on this too. dude's going down. Oh uh, my god, I'm, that was one hit. Yeah, that oh, was we'll going right now. Look at that. He's like a combo away. They were cracked to me. I'm obsessed with those nerd gummies, and I don't even eat candy. Ted, do you not care about this guy? Oh, we've seen him before. Or he a ma- type. He makes a good point. We have seen him before. He's not even lying. Like, in this exact type of room. You're not lying. Oh, God. You can got by some... Hey, hey, hey. Some real nonsense here. Hey, what the fuck? Whoa. I can't believe you're alive, actually. That's real. <laughs> God. That's so much damage. It does just, do Just, like, damage. come in and do one of those, like, every... Five seconds, you'll be all right. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, one more. One more. Clean, baby. Man, it's like fake stress. It's like a roller coaster. <laughs> you know what? We didn't do this whole dungeon in one episode, but we did all right. Yeah, and you know what? We got some nice, like, press conference di- type conversations out of the way that we usually like to have. <laughs> Is Gave that people- how you feel about it? I feel like people want to know, like, it's the rarest thing we talk about, right? What does that mean? I don't think we have these in my, like, region. These fizzled Skittles. Right. I've never seen that in my Yeah, life. I don't think we have that. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't last long. I don't I, think, I believe it. We used to have a soda called Sprite Remix. I do remember that. That was, like, in our... Oh, I think I had that. Maybe yeah. it, like, f- spread eventually, but it was only around... It was around... We had it, like, two and a half years before everybody else or something. Uh, oh, yeah. We had those. Damn, yeah. Still heavy loaded. Gotta keep going. I think... Okay. What I was gonna say was, I think, like... In terms of, like, the deep lore, fandom lore, of what people like, the Beard Bros. Like, the forbidden topic. Like, the thing that, like, we, we, we... Most of the things that we talk about on the show, like you and I, Mm -hmm. are things that the audience also, like, talks about as much. You think so? Like, like, in terms of, like, oh, like, if we talk about X-Men, they'll, like, comment about the X-Men. Sure, I'm I'm willing to bet that there are many X-Men fans among our viewers. Yeah, just stuff like that, right? But when it comes to what we're gonna do on the show, and what we do behind the scenes and how the show works and what we should play or like what we're looking for. Okay. That's something that we talk about very rarely on the show. Oh, compared to how like much, how we make the donuts. Yeah. Compared to how much people talk about it on the show, like in the, in the comments, like what we should do next. You're saying the audience talks about the programming of the show far more than Way we talk more. about it. Yeah. Interesting. I would okay. say the most common interaction I have with people other than a few specific people Yo. is people telling me things that I should like, do for my show, huh? By by a large margin, and not just Beard Bros. Like every fucking show. Yo, what is this? A fucking war? A fucking ghost war? You serious? Get out of here! Fucking blackest night going on right now. Yeah, they don't want to fuck with me, dude. Necron? I ain't the one. What's his name? Necron? Mm, I was something like that. Yeah. Oh man. Are y'all even real? Like, will you give me souls? You will. Okay. So it looks like the ghosts won handily. Even with me, help. Who's who threw that? You? 
He look. He went and got him too. He was like, "You motherfucker!" <laughs> oh look, there's still a couple humans alive. Oh. oh. Well, I know what my responsibility is. This little guy right here. <laughs> he's done. He's he's been glassed. Is there anybody to fight him? Just just me. us. Stop running. Look at his ghostly ass. Stop running, bro. Oh. Look at his distended little belly down there. I'm trying not Hold to, him. dude. Why? Ugh. That's the fun. That's, <laughs> That's the fun of it, Ted. Look at him. Look at his organs, man. This game's rated M, bro. Ted, look at his organs. Icky. This game's rated M, dude. Rated M for organs. I don't look like that on the inside. Stop it. He was not created in Ted's image. Oh. No, he was not. Nice. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I don't know if I can get his head, so let's just wail on his kneecaps. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> like I'm a mob enforcer, dude. And speaking of being a mob enforcer, you guys <laughs> better head over to patreon.com slash superbeardbros uh -huh. and uh, contribute $10 a month. Uh -huh. Or else... Yep. We'll come for your knees. Or else nothing. We'll come because we don't knees. care about that. That's not what this is about. But if... Man, you didn't you even connect it to mob enforcer. I was shaking them down, but I wanted to. I wanted to make a point that they're not required to pay, and that's not the main audience. The point is just that people who can afford to support us, who are watching, uh, you know, you should consider doing it. We'll talk. Get Thirty days early show, and it helps everybody watch a show that's free from all algorithms and overarching forces. The show that you're watching now is brought to you by the generous people over at patreon.com slash superbeardbros. Yeah. It's the only reason you're watching right now, so thanks to those guys. And if you want to join that group, feel free, man. We got some stuff for you. Yeah, and if you're currently supporting, please don't ever feel bad if you're like, I can't support anymore. Because yeah. I know some people reach out mm. and be like, I'm sorry, I gotta stop for a while. And yeah, I'm that's like, not the point. No, that's, that's, yeah. it's totally chill. Yeah, like, just you don't have to justify it. Go live your yeah, life. Man. The real yeah. deal is, if you can afford it, come support so that everybody can watch. When you stop supporting, all you're doing is being like, "All right, you guys take it for a while." Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. We know how life goes. Like, yeah. Thank you so no much worries. for past support, whatever, future, whatever. Look at this fucking thing. <laughs> Okay. I think it's fucking insane looking. Are you intrigued yeah. by that at all, Ted? I actually am. Yeah. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. There you go. Hey, okay, but like the, the, and back the, to runes. <laughs> it, are are you aware of where we are? Like 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 what the deal with this area of the land is, Ted? Are you aware of that at all? I'm just curious. Learn you? I no. So like you see, is that it? No, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> this area, this whole area is Ray like Lucaria. a Lucaria. Like a uh, that's like Hogwarts basically. It's a magic school. Okay. Go. We're gonna rock up there eventually and fuck shit up. We're okay. gonna find out what happened. Okay. But think about it. Yeah, think of it. We're like in a college town. You know what I mean? But like an old, old. Yeah. You feel we, me? I mean, we, yeah, we talked about college towns oh, before. He's like, no, no, no. Yeah, you, you're we very unoriginal. That, yeah, yeah you, you've already. <laughs> I'm so bored that I've remembered every word that you said. I watched. I feel like I've been watching this show for a thousand years. Like a curse. Quite. Like a vampire. You are, you are quite hacky. 55 episodes <laughs> is 55 hacky. episodes too many. Tired What's up, dudes? And I'd rather have no. Yo, eyeballs. they sniped him. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Oh man, this game would be more interesting if I just close my eyes and imagine <laughs> what was happening. Dude, that's me with almost every video game I've ever played. It was that real? Not every video game, but like there's, you know, every any time a video game's like, you know, trying to tell a story. Usually, I'm like, I don't think you're particularly good at it, and I'd rather not engage with that story, mm. including this one. Do you, you think know? stories are pretty important to games? Huh? What'd you say? Do you, do you think stories are pretty important to games? Like, I feel like we've like, had this conversation many times. I don't want to like open it up again, but like I don't think there's any such thing as inherent importance, but I will recognize that narrative in video games is very, very important to many people out there. That is really true. Narrative is important to me. It's one of the things I care about the most, but like I also recognize that like <clears throat> if I keep going to the fucking strip club and it's an awesome time, right? Yeah. Um... But their their fucking buffet, I don't enjoy. I, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna start frequenting the ones where they don't have a buffet, because I don't want to like have to pay that premium. You oh. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. That's all I'm saying. Oh. Oh, oh word! What was that? The fucking like meat in the mouse trap guy? 
I'll be the meat today, guy. We're ghosts anyway, right? So chill. See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, you we fight. forgot the word for bait for just a second. <laughs> he yeah. said, meat in the mousetrap. <laughs> also, not cheese. You know, meat. They love, they love that shit. They love a nice uh, prosciutto. <laughs> Mice. They're fucking meat eaters, dude. <laughs> Check your books again. Don't ever let a mouse eat meat or else they'll never go back. Crack open a, your textbooks again. Double check. Crack I open. might not be wrong. Yeah, we all, we all wrote like red cheese, but mm -mm, nope. Mice are carnivorous. Cheese is Portuguese for meat. Meat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's true. So that was that's what's hot? You guys just had like a little... Oh. You sniped me from the tower? That's they just wanted to antagonize, but they didn't realize it was going to get this serious. They didn't Fucking think dumbest. you were going to like come beat and... Beat kill, ass! Yeah. And literally ghost bust all of them. This is... Dude, this would be legit terrifying. Shirtless man in like... A very pompous ass hat, like dandy, right? Yeah. Super fucking uh, foppish hat, rolling with a giant mallet. This is like if Freddie Mercury was like got East Side. You know what I mean? What's the song from yeah. uh, Flash Gordon? I'm a fire Don't stop me now. Isn't that in Flash Gordon? Don't having such a stop good me now. I'm having a ball. Yeah. Flash, it's incredible. <laughs> am I missing? Am I, I think I might be mixing two songs together. They call me Mr. Fahrenheit. The one that's like flesh. Ah, here's a very one of us. Is that two songs? Yes. Okay. This is cool. Oh wait, look up. Okay. Is that like a hole? Is it like hollow in there? Oh, uh, I don't think so. I think it's shadow. Ah. Uh, Good eyes though. Good oh. eye. Hello. That's ghost. I am so stressed. Ah, oh, yo, he didn't get in. The crown of stone? Is that these faces, you think? I, I think so, yeah. Ugh. So that's what they want to do. They want to have the crown of stone. Yeah, they want to like have a fucking rock, rock right. face, rock head. Like if you learn enough. Yeah. You start to like grow rocks out of your head, but they're smart rocks. Yeah. Oh, are you? Oh, you're a regular bear. Bigums bear? Nah, we're good. <laughs> Later, man. Oh, you're not even a Bigums bear. Yeah, you're. It's been good. a while since we saw a bear. Oh, like any bear or a Bigums bear? Oh, any bear. Oh, but now we got the Bigums bear. All right, let's fucking do this. Thing. What? What is? What are we? What Did are we, we just kill his kid? I think this uh, is the thing to do. This is like Rise of Kong backwards. What would you do? <laughs> Why'd you kill my boy? Why'd you do that? What's the matter? Oh. oh, shit, he knows. Oh, okay. Well, this is actually good what you're doing. Hey. Oh, that's oh, so little care. damage. Dead keeper, oh, he promise. Even... Wow, he's taking not a lot of damage. True. But I'm scared to use the, um, the hammer. Slam? because. Oh, yeah, the butt slam. I'll try that. No, uh, could have gone better. Could have gone worse. Oh! Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> I don't want to use the hammer because of the um, startup in the recovery. Yeah, you know? I know, right? It's like too dangerous. But this thing. Oh, whoa, whoa! Don't stop me now! They call me Mr. Bear and Fight. Mr. Bear and Fight. <laughs> Bear, no, like Germans. Uh, Mr. Bear Mr. And Bear and Fight. Yeah, Bear and Fight. I used to have a teacher called Mr. Barons. There you go. He's very German. He wore a suit every day, even though he was a fifth grade teacher. Nah, he's killing the game. <laughs> no! Oh! Yeah, I, Mario, I love you! I love you! I love all your games! Oh. Thank you for Mario Wonder, sir. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Not like this. Not like this. Woo! Not like this. That couldn't have been farther away. Like, you hit... He touched the like the edge of his claw to your face and <sighs> snipped off the tip of your nose and killed you. Did they burn? Did they burn? I tried to burn him. Oh, and, you did? And honestly, I did burn him. Like, we were doing an okay job, but oh, okay. the butt stomp is nice. I was burning oh, yeah. and button stomping. Yeah, the burn burning is and bot and stomping. nice and fast. Oh, Mr. Bernheit. Bernheit and button stomping. Good on the boot and the tongue. Herr Fahrenheit. What song is that? Is oh, it's ninety nine. Yeah. No, no, that's uh. Da, 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 da. 
It's uh, offspring. Unter Glauben Glauben. Oh, right. Wait, really? Yeah. How does 99 Loof Balloons start? I don't know, but that what you uh, just said is straight off of America. Did I just merge those two in my head? Wild. Isn't that the beginning of Pretty Fly for a White Guy? Unter Glauben Glauben. You might be right. Yeah, you guys are on two different songs. 99 <laughs> I think my friend Laughlin said he hates that song. I'm like, that song fucking rips, dude. What are you talking about? That's like not liking Come On Ali- Eileen. A lot of people don't like that one. Just contrary. Also, we we went the really wrong way. And it's not even read in German. Oh, it's such a pretty song. Yeah. They just needed an extra syllable in there. Yeah, yeah. Luftballons. Luftballons. You guys like uh, Ballon? <laughs> Balloon. Red balloon? Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> there was like... Like, I get it. There was like a reading of uh, that right. where you were like, the red balloon? And then it like cuts to you watching the red balloon as like a boy in class and then cutting back to you and you're like, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> as a boy, I'm like... <sighs> crying watching But I don't want to like <laughs> show how like non-hard yeah. I am. So yeah, how like, important that yeah, movie is sorry. to you. Yeah, that's fine. It's like, so you like Ghostbusters and Ninja Turtles? I'm like, uh, they're okay. Yeah, they're my favorite. <laughs> Your favorite things. Bello. Uh, For some reason, Venkman. Bello, Take him or leave him. Bello. Ow, that was Bellone there. <laughs> that was my red balloon there. <laughs> Le Ballon Rouge. <laughs> Hi, big boy. Oh. It's like the word that you're using to make the sound is the word bear. Bear, 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 bear. <laughs> Bear, 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 bear. Yeah, the flames are pretty good here, dude. Like, I gotta agree. Like, it's just about the speed. Man. Yeah, it's not even doing that much. It's not like effective as an element or something, really. It's just the yeah. The, it's low commitment, you know. That's super like RPG vibes right there. Ugh. Damn. Do they have like a break for magic damage? A like, what? A posture break for magic damage? No. Okay. I think a, a posture break is just like a this. Break. Yeah, that like it, there's just one type of break, but it can be caused many ways. Yeah. Oh, okay. That so could be by magic theoretically. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If it does Certain posture, if it does posture damage, like for example, the butt slam is magic. <clears throat> oh. Well, it's a skill. Yeah. It's like it uses it MP. uses it MP, uses MP. Yeah. Uh. Next time on Beard Bros, continuing up this lane, baby. You know what's up. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna eat what was that? Za. Learn ya. Learn ya. Learn ya. Learn ya. I'm gonna learn ya something. On young. On young. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what was it? What did that mean in Korean again? On young. I think it was just hello. I know on young means, but hello. Oh, what hello. I don't. Remember. Like the the fucking final part of that. Yeah. Gag? That was that. God, it's, that it's whole just, situation is so stupid. It's so funny that they just thought he repeated his name after they said <laughs> it. It's so fucking. That's funny. how self-involved they were. It's oh, not even his name. So good. Um, all right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Go love you, bye.